have with us Ms. Flaka Suroi, Executive Director of the COHA Group on the occasion of a conference organized by the Southeast European Program of Elia Met. Ms. Suroi, how could you describe the media landscape in your country? It's quite interesting. After the war uh, in 1999, there has been uh, quite some investment coming from different uh, countries, uh, both Europe and the United States, to actually establish a very wide spectrum of, of media that would cover for all the communities living in Kosovo. Um, in, the, in the sense of the electronic media, there are about 100 of them actually functioning, both televisions and radio stations, which were established either in, in certain territories uh, that are inhabited by certain communities, or simply they have the range of being national or regional uh, TVs or radios. So in that way, the majority of the population of Kosovo has access to information, which is produced by the, the people of their own communities. And in the level of the national TVs, there are three national broadcasters, two of them being private and one being public, with the second one, with the public broadcaster expecting a second program which will be meant for the Serbian community only. Um, whereas the print media is, um, is mainly concentrated on the Albanian language, uh, you will find eight daily newspapers of which uh, I'm proud to say that Koalitore is the oldest, which was established in 97, uh, which is a fully independent newspaper uh, run by, by myself and the team that, that runs it. And uh, in a situation in which you would have doubts as to whether the, the, the newspapers are really fully independent or they are fully supported by certain political parties. What we can see right now is at least that four of the daily newspapers uh, are uh, heavily um, influenced by the, the party in, uh, which, which is holding the government. So in, a, in essence, you could say that there is a wide range of media which are operational. However, running medias in Kosovo is a very difficult thing to do because you need uh, quite some money. Uh, to do that, and uh, the, advertising, the advertising market is quite limited, bearing in mind the, the economic situation in general. But at the end, the most important thing is to try and preserve the editorial policies of each one of them, and that is the, the, the largest part, the, the most difficult part that we, we face. Ms. Roy, two years ago our foundation, Elia Men, organized a project entitled The Media in Divided Societies and invited here in Athens journalists, young journalists from both Kosovo and Serbia in order to facilitate further cooperation between them. From your experience, how do you judge that kind of initiatives and do you see any perspectives for further cooperation in the future? It's a little bit difficult to believe that it's going to be developed that easily because we do have a problem of the language. So there is a language barrier between the one and the other part unless they speak the language of the one and the other, which are completely different and are completely differently written, it is very difficult to believe that they can really sit down and write things together, together unless they, they use a lingua franca, which could be English at the end. Um, for the time being, I don't see that cooperation really moving ahead because uh, as there are media missing on the Serbian side, the print media, I mean, putting them together, building up stories, is possible, but it's not a practice that has been enhanced in the, in the, in the past couple of years at least. This is not uh, the experience that we've had. I really don't know how this is going to be developed unless there is a clear idea uh, that you would want to make a series of articles that, that will touch the, not only the cultural and the linguistic problems that the people might have, but also the, the political issues that these people would need to debate and discuss in, in, in a written form. Ms. Roy, thank you very much for this interview and for participating in the conference organized by Elia Mep. Thank you very much.